Hello and welcome to Quiz Class. My name's Ellis and I'll be your host for today's quiz, which is all about word meanings. We've got a hundred questions today and they're all to do with words. At the end of the video, you can let us know how you rank in the comments below. Whether you're a quiz champion, master, enthusiast, apprentice or explorer, we want to know how many points you scored out of a hundred. So make sure to do that once the quiz has ended. Today's lineup of questions then is all about word definitions, words in general and word origins. So all of the questions will fall under one of those categories and the quiz is split up accordingly, starting with definitions. So let's get started with question one. Which is the correct option to correct the following sentences? When they get there, they're going to spend all their cash. So fill in the there's with the three dots there that you've got for each. Where do those there's go? It's option C. There, there and there. Two, which of the following sentences is correct? He has been eating less than before, he is eating fewer than before, or he has been eating fewer than before. The answer is he has been eating less than before. Three, which of the following sentences uses the correct subject? Who ate my last Pop-Tart? Or whom ate my last Pop-Tart? The answer is who ate my last Pop-Tart? Four, which of the following shortened definitions describes the word principle correctly? A fundamental truth that serves as a foundation to a system or concept, first in order of importance, or a general scientific theorem with multiple applications. The answer is first in order of importance. Five, which of the following sentences is incorrect? This office is always out of stationery. Unfortunately, the van has been stationary in traffic. Or will they be able to deliver the stationery by Friday? The answer is, will they be able to deliver the stationery by Friday? Six, which of the homonyms of sight, sight and sight would be used to express the following sentence correctly? Sight your information's source. Which of those is right? The answer is A, sight with a C-I-T-E. Seven, which of the following terms describes to be oppressed or harassed often for one's beliefs. Hint, he was blank for his beliefs. Is the answer persecuted, prosecuted or pursued? The answer is persecuted. Eight, what does the word peaked mean? Reaching the highest point, something very neat and cute in modern use or arouse interest or curiosity? And to clarify that's peak, P-I-Q-U-E-D. Which means arouse interest or curiosity. Nine. There's no multiple choices on this question. What is the homonym of peaked that describes reaching the highest point? If you don't know it, it's always worth having a guess. The answer is peaked, spelt P E A K E D. Ten. Which of the following words correctly defines an event that occurs or exists? before another in sequence or time. Proceed, proceed, or proceed. The answer is proceed, P-R-E-C-E-D-E. -E -E. 11, which of the following sentences is correct? Having insurance ensures protection for your assets. Having insurance ensures protection for your assets. Or having insurance ensures protection for your assets. The answer is B. Having insurance ensures. 12. What is the definition of the word flare? A fire or blaze of light? A device that produces a bright light when struck? Or special or instinctive aptitude or ability? And that's flare spelled F-L-A-I-R. The answer is special or instinctive aptitude or ability. Hope you're keeping up so far. We're on question 13 now. What is the word higher quitaliency? derived from. An archaic word meaning persistent, 
from the goat's reputed libidnousness, or an Italian word meaning hard feather? The answer, from the goat's reputed libidinousness. 14. What word is synonymous with luxurious? Decadent, excellent, or magnificent? The answer is decadent. 15. What is the best description of the term swaggering? Stylish or fashionable? Extremely confident and smooth? Or arrogantly boastful or self-assertive? The answer is arrogantly boastful or self-assertive. 16. Which of these words describes a large number of people or things? Minor, myriad, or trivial? This quiz has a myriad of questions. The answer is myriad. 17. What is a rapscallion? A tool used to fix horseshoes? Someone that can sing really fast, or a mischievous person? A rapscallion is a mischievous person. 18. Being present, found, or appearing everywhere is best described by what word? Sentient, significant, or ubiquitous? The answer is ubiquitous. Question 19. Due to the excessive use of the word mobile phone, the term cell phone is falling out of use. What is cell phone short for? It is not short for anything. Cellular telephone or battery cell phone? The answer is cellular telephone. 20. What is the definition of the word discernible? Clear to the mind, comprehensible, easily persuaded or influenced, or not easily distinguishable? Discernible, what does it mean? It means clear to the mind or comprehensible. 21. What is correct regarding the word irregardless? It is improper and not considered a real world word by many. It is not interchangeable with the word irregular or it has two completely different meanings. The answer is it is improper and not considered a real word by many. 22. What word does not match the others in terms of definition? Imply, insinuate or imitate? And that first one is imply, not imply. The answer is imply. Or Impli, if you preferred that version of uh, saying that word. 23. Which of the following words describes to guess or speculate correctly? Infer, inferior, or infuse? The answer is infer. 24. What is meant when one uses the word lightening? A weather condition, thunder finding religion or a spiritual feeling, or make lighter or brighter? Well, the E in the word there means it means make lighter or brighter, lightening. 25. What is a malinger? Pretend illness, someone that causes havoc where he goes, or a really strong drink. That's M-A-L-I-N-G-E-R. The answer is pretend illness. And we are a quarter of the way through this quiz now. Moving on to question 26. What does the word nonplus imply? Don't bring a plus one. Frustrate someone on purpose. Or unable to take or decide on further action. The answer is unable to take or decide on further action. 27. What is the definition of the word plethora or plethora? Perhaps or maybe, overabundance or excess, or by luck or chance. The answer is overabundance or excess. 28. What is the definition of the word facetious? 
someone that doesn't take a situation seriously, someone false or fake, or a terrible situation. The answer is someone that doesn't take a situation seriously. 29. What is the meaning of the word ostentatious? Someone fake or false, the opposite of fabulous, or someone is deliberately showing off. The answer is someone is deliberately showing off. Question 30. Supposedly derived from Irish or Scottish, kerfuffle is used to refer to what? Vigorously searched through a bag or something similar, making a fuss out of nothing, or romantic activities? The answer is making a fuss out of nothing. We're now moving on to some question about words. So let's see how you do with this next batch. Starting with question 31. Which of the following sentences are incorrect? He has a lot of books. She has a lot of friends. Or they bought a lot. You'll notice in the second one there, a lot is one word. And that's correct. She has a lot of friends. 32. If you are on a diet, do you usually eat less or fewer? Fewer, less, or both are correct. The answer is less. 33. Which of the following sentences makes incorrect use of who or whom? By whom was the novel authored? Who wrote the novel? Or whom is responsible for this? The answer is whom is responsible for this? 34. It's raining outside and your friend is about to visit. What do you tell her? Bring your umbrella with you? Take your umbrella with you, or both of those are correct. The answer is bring your umbrella with you. 35. When expressing your ability to carry out a task in an interview, can, could, or would you? Hint, I blank use a soft serve machine. Is it I can use a soft serve machine? I could use a soft serve machine? or I would use a soft serve machine? The answer is can. You're talking about ability. 36, which of the following sentences are incorrect? It might rain today. She may come over if you behave, or she might borrow my book if she brings it back. The answer, she might borrow my book if she brings it back. 37, when one is cautious to attract attention, you are what? Discreet, discreet, or discreet? And it's the spellings there that will alter your answer. Which is discreet, spelt D-I-S-C-R-E-E-T. 38, what is the correct way to use the following phrase? For all intensive proposals, for all intensive purposes, or for all intents and purposes? The answer is for all intents and purposes. 39. Between all right and all right, what is generally accepted? Or is it both? The answer is both are accepted. Question 40. Which of the following makes correct use of among or between? You never know among these two. Between the four of them, they will sort it out. Or I feel small among all these people. It's that last one, I feel small among all these people that makes correct use of among or between. 41, which of the following is the correct use of the word concern among these sentences? As far as I am concerned, as far as concern me, or considering me thus far? The answer is as far as I am concerned. 42. 
Salons usually offer what coffee? Complacent, complimentary, or complacentry? The answer is complimentary coffees. 43. What is the correct form of the word criteria in the sentence below? Meeting these criteria is essential. Meeting this criteria is essential. Or meeting these criteria is essential. The answer is meeting these criteria is essential. 44. With regards to information and statistics, what is the correct term to correctly finish the following sentence? The blank what shows a clear trend. Data, datum, or datums. The data shows a clear trend. 45. Which of the following is the correct spelling for the word that means to draw out or bring forth? Illicit, illicit, or illicit. You can see the spellings there of those three answers. The correct one is illicit, E-L-I-C-I-T. 46. What would one be doing when taking their vitamins? Assuring proper nutrition, ensuring proper nutrition, or ensuring proper nutrition? The answer is ensuring proper nutrition. 47. If further is used to refer to a time or degree, what is father used to refer to? One's dad, physical distance, or there is no correct use of father. When spelt like that, F-A-R-T-H-E-R, -E the answer is physical distance. 48. Which of these sentences is the correct one? I hanged a picture on the wall. I hung a picture yesterday, or the criminal was hung for his crimes. I hanged a picture on the wall, I hung a painting yesterday, or the criminal was hung for his crimes. The answer is I hung a painting yesterday. 49. What is the correct use of loath or loathe? She is loath to admit defeat. She is loathes to admit defeat, or she loathes admitting defeat. The answer is, she is loath to admit defeat. 50. How would one correctly complete the following sentence? That smell makes me feel nausea, nauseated, or nauseous. The answer to question 50 is nauseated, and that is the halfway point of this quiz. Question 51. What is the correct plural form of phenomenon? Is it phenomenon? Phenomenons or phenomena? The answer is phenomena. Question 52. Which of these sentences is correct? It was a regret decision, it was a regretful decision, or it was a regrettable decision? The word we're going to use in that sentence is regrettable. It was a regrettable decision. 53. Which of these words are correct? Disinterested, uninterested, or both? You can use both this and uninterested. 54. Which of the following sentences are correct? She emigrated from her home country, she emigrated here, or he emigrated from there. The answer is she emigrated from her home country. 55. When would you use the word since? When you would use because, indicating a point in time, or to indicate caution? The answer, indicating a point in time. 56. What does the word peruse mean? To examine or consider carefully, to glance at or skim, or to quickly or discreetly look at something. The 
The answer is to examine or consider carefully. 57. Often used in the wrong context, what is the correct meaning of the word enormity? Great in size or magnificence, normality or what is expected, or extreme wickedness or outrageousness? The answer is extreme wickedness or outrageousness. 58. What is the correct meaning of the word fortuitous? Fortunate or successful? Considered blessed or lucky? Or happening by chance or accident? The answer is happening by chance or accident. 59. Penultimate is commonly used in the wrong context. What does it actually mean? The very first, the second to last, or the very last? The answer is the second to last. 60. What word describes open to debate? Trivial, irrelevant, or moot? The answer is moot. We're now moving on to some questions about word origins. It's more the history of words. Starting with this, karma means action or deed in what language? Chinese Mandarin, Indian, or Sanskrit? The answer is Sanskrit. 62. From where is the word safari derived? Africa, Asia, or Australia? The word safari is derived from Africa. The answer is Africa. 63. From what Japanese word is tycoon derived? Tycoon? Tycoon or tycoon? You can see the three spellings below there. And the correct one is the bottom option. Tycoon spelled T-A-I-K-U-N. 64. Kindergarten is directly translated as children's garden and originates from which language? Afrikaans, German or Italian? The answer is German. Question 65. Cookie is derived from the Dutch word koekie, which is the diminutive of kuek, meaning what? Cake, cook or cupcake? The answer is cake. 66. Which of these words originates from a Czech word? Guru, robot, or whiskey. The answer is robot. Question 67. The word boomerang is borrowed from the Durag Aboriginal language of which country? Australia, Hungary, or Oman? The answer is Australia. 68. The word cigar comes from the Spanish cigarro, which is derived from what word? The ancient Egyptian word senetia, the ancient Incan word puko, or the ancient Mayan word sika? The answer is the ancient Mayan word sika. 69. What word is derived from the Inuk Titut word kejak? Karaoke, kayak, or camping? And that's spelled Q-A-J-A-K. What word is derived from that word? The answer is kayak. Question 70. Chocolate originates from the Nahuatl word Xochlatl. That's X-O-C-O-L-A-T-L. Which means, it's a word used by the ancient Romans, it's a word used by the Aztecs, or it's a word used by the Persians. 
The answer is, it is a word used by the Aztecs. Vodka is derived from a Slavic word that is directly translated to what in Russian? Angry potato juice, honey milk, or dear little water? The answer is dear little water. 72. What does pajama, the basis for pajama, mean in Hindi? Light sleeping garments, leg garments, or sleeping shirt? The answer is leg garments. 73. What does avatar mean in its language of origin, Sanskrit? Embodiment, descent, or deity? What does avatar mean in its language of origin, Sanskrit? The answer is descent. 74. Ketchup has origins coming from the Amoy dialect of Chinese, referring to what? Chocolate sauce, a pickled fish sauce, or a tomato-based condiment? The answer is a pickled fish sauce, which isn't quite what we know it for today. 75. Where does the word barbecue originate from? Haitian Creole, Hawaiian, or Rio Tahiti? The answer is Haitian Creole. 76. Ballet is taken from the French word, which in turn is derived from the Italian word ballet, which means what? Prodigy, swaying or swinging, or to dance. The answer is to dance. Question 77. The word coffee is derived from Arabic, which originally referred to what? Milk, water, or wine? The answer is wine. 78. Hurricane is derived from a word in Taino that means what? Evil spirit of the wind, merciless wind, or destruction by wind? The answer is evil spirit of the wind. Question 79. What language does the word ninja originate from? Japanese, Chinese, or Taiwanese? The answer is Japanese. Question 80. What word is derived from the Sanskrit naranga? Orange? Tangerine or Ranger? The answer is Orange. 81. Piano is Italian for what? Beautiful, music or soft? The answer is soft. Question 82. Shaman is Tungus for referring to a person who does what? Acts as a medium between physical and spiritual, brings luck to those that pray to his, or carries an evil child in a leather bag. And the answer is acts as a medium between physical and spiritual. 83. What English word is derived from the Sanskrit word shakhara? Chakra, shark, or sugar? The answer is sugar. 84. Taboo is derived from the Polynesian word tapu, meaning what? Forbidden or sacred, grotesque or abominable, or fruit or growth? The answer is forbidden or sacred. 85. Where is the word umbrella derived from? Greek, Latin or Sanskrit?
The answer is Latin. 86. Vampire is derived from vampire in what language? Bulgarian, Ronan, or Serbian? Is it Bulgarian, Roman, or Serbian? The answer is Serbian. Whiskey is derived from the Gaelic usage biatha, meaning what? Honey of spring, liquid of gold, or water of life? The answer is water of life. 88. Yoga means to yoke or unite in what language? Japanese, Hebrew, or Sanskrit? The answer is Sanskrit. Question 89. Zero is derived from Sifra, S-I-F-R, meaning nothing in what language? Arabic, Greek, or Hebrew? The answer is Arabic. Question 90. From what language is the word zodiac derived, meaning circle of animals? Is it Greek, Hebrew, or Roman? The answer is Greek. And now we've got a mystery round to finish off for our last 10 questions. 91, what is the meaning of ironic? A situation is contrary to the intended or expected outcome, coincidental or unexpected, or funny or comical to a degree of insanity. The answer is a situation is contrary to the intended or expected outcome. 92. What is the correct description of feeling nonchalant, calm or relaxed, indifferent or uninterested, or unimpressed or snobbish. Nonchalant means to be calm or relaxed. 93. Enervate is commonly used in the wrong context. What is the correct meaning of this word? To energize or invigorate, to provoke or taunt, or to weaken or deprive of strength. The answer is to weaken or deprive of strength. What is the meaning of the word prodigal? Spending money extravagantly and freely, reckless or wasteful use of money, or using inheritance for luxuries? The answer is spending money extravagantly and freely. 95. What is the meaning of the word flowergast? To flatter or impress, to surprise to the point of confusion, or to show off and look down on others? What is the meaning of the word flabbergast? The answer is to surprise to the point of confusion. What is the meaning of the word inveterate? Invade or persuade by force? Habitual or long established, or intense or strong? The answer is habitual or long established. 97. What is the correct spelling of the word accommodate? You've got three sets of spelling there. Which one is right? It's all to do with the amount of C's and M's in the word. And the correct spelling is in option A. A C C O M M O D A T E. 98. What is the correct spelling of this word, acquire? Three different spellings there. Which one is right? The correct answer is A. The top one, A C Q U I R E. 99. Which of the following refers to a pathway or passage? Isle, spelt A-I-S-L-E, Isle, spelt I-L-E, or Isle, spelt I-S-L-E. 
The answer is Isle, spelt A-I-S-L-E. And 100. What is the meaning of the word hyperbole? Clearly overstating a paper tiger, unrealistic contrast to something, or extreme exaggeration for emphasis or effect. The answer is extreme exaggeration for emphasis or effect. And here's a bonus question. What is an aisle, spelt I-S-L-E? Let us know the answer in the comments, and whilst you're there, you can let us know how you ranked based on your score out of 100. We were quiz champion, a quiz master, a quiz enthusiast, a quiz apprentice, or a quiz explorer. Whatever you scored, do let us know. And that's it. That is the end of our quiz. Thanks a lot for playing. Don't forget to subscribe to Quiz Class to be updated on all of our new videos. You should hit that bell icon too. Try these quizzes on for size before any new ones come out. There's loads of quizzes already uploaded on our channel that you can get involved with now. My name's Ellis and I've been your host. Thanks a lot for playing. We'll see you next time.